Hey guys, welcome back to the number one podcast in the nation. Hey. Are we live? Yeah, we're here. Hello? Hi. We're live. So Welcome. Yeah, now it's it's me, Grug, Bumdog, and we also have my mom on today as, as our special guest. My Hello. very own mom. Hello. Do you want to introduce yourself? This is Joe Mama. I am Will's mom with my new username of Joe Mama as of today. <laughs> and yeah, I'm excited to be here. Perfect. Great. Well, this is a good start. Yeah. I I also just wanted to announce that I got my vaccination today and I'm now part robot. So Oh, so like like who does it belong who do you belong to? Oh, like Jeff Bezos? Talk about that? Like <laughs> well, no, for, first, first we need to uh, ask the the guest uh, for a name for the podcast. As it's like it's not named. Yeah, it's tradition. What's the name for our podcast? What do you want to well, name it? The first word is come. C U M. Come inside the mind of a teen boy. Any <laughs> 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 specific reasoning why yeah. you picked this? <laughs> well. As you know, I'm a mom to mm-hmm. Will, and he's a teenage boy. And I was like, first thinking when I was listening to your first couple of podcasts, I was like, man, this would have been so awesome when I was 15, 16, 17, 18, all of those ages from 15 to 18, I would have loved to have been able to go on something like this and listen to like what the boys I liked or crushes I had or like uh-huh. what is going on in their minds. And then I would listen and be like, whoa, <laughs> they are freaky, right? So then I was like, come inside the mind of a teenage boy, right? But then I was like, they're so gross. And like, I have to, like, I'm panic stricken when I have to go into Will's room without <laughs> knocking or something. And I'm like, you know what? Come inside the mind of a teen boy with CUM because, it's you know, funny. obvious reasons. <laughs> Great. Okay. That's a pretty good podcast name. That's the best we, that has to be the best we had so far, right? Out of, out of, We've only had two podcasts. Out of, out of, out of, out of the, the, the two, out of the two is the best. What, what, even, what even does 106 even mean, even? It doesn't mean anything! Yeah, there's a pun, there's a pun, right? Like, people can come inside the mind, literally, like, to find out how you guys think. Or, yeah. like, you know, what you guys think about is definitely the other pun of come. So I'm like, come inside the mind of a teen boy. Yeah, exactly. One one of Aaron's nicknames was cum dog for a while. I, I, it still nickname, is. I never, I never accepted that as one of my nicknames. <laughs> hey, yeah, sure. That's not one of my nicknames. Everyone knows you guys cum dog. There's no going back. It's, it's super a inappropriate dog. for a mother to say these things. Cum dog, cum dog, no difference. I decided today that because I was coming on this uh, podcast, I was going to be open-minded, <laughs> even though that would be super impro- inappropriate to say typically, but I just thought it was so fitting for the name of this podcast when I hear you boys talk. So there you go. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> what a what a great name. What a great start. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. This is... Okay. Um, oh, God. Cheese. What, what questions have you prepared? Oh, didn't I... Okay. Well... I did want to ask a little bit of, like, so she's had two teenage boys now, and I wanted to know, like, what are your biggest fears, you know? What what scares Uh, you about them? as I mentioned before, I do, before you turned teen, prepubescent, I would just walk in and be like, Will, get up, or Will, this. Now, I'm like, okay, and it's a whole kind of mini routine for me i make noise coming down the hall then i kind of like shake the door rattle it then open it because god forbid i walk in on any teen boyish things and since i've had a heads up from your older brother already being and i learned that hey uh i won't continue to do laundry for you guys after a certain age so with tommy i learned that hey i didn't want to try to figure out what that was so i'm gonna say hey will you're learning how to do your laundry now at 14 i think i started you at doing your own Mm -hmm. laundry because you know so those are my fears as like as far as like not understanding what's in your mind Uh Mm -hmm. uh-huh um you're very afraid of of 
of the other I don't want to walk in on anything. I don't want to have to. If I do walk in on something that I don't know what boys do because I was not a teenage boy ever, <laughs> I wonder, like, how would I even answer questions if we had to be faced with something that I thought. So now I just make lots of noise before doing any kind of entering. Not mm-hmm. assuming you are doing anything, but if you were, I wouldn't want to know. And also, my other fears are... I'll tell you a real literal fear that's not like gross teenage boy stuff is this is later mm-hmm. in life, which this leads to me to a question for you guys too. But later on in life, um, I, you know, they, there's a saying out there and I don't remember what the saying is, but it's something like when you have a daughter, the daughter stays, you know, you kind of have that relationship always, but sons leave with someone else's daughter or with a different, like they go either with a different mate. And they kind of leave home. They go, the, the boys tend to leave home with their mate, right? Whether it's female right. or male. But I mean, if you have a daughter, they typically stay with the mom forever. And so, like me, I still take care of my mom to this day. But my brothers are very scarce for her. And that that's my biggest fear is I only have boys. I don't have any daughters. So I'm always worried that once you all, they all find a mate that I'll be left <clears throat> without any one of them. That's my biggest real, realistic fear but my daily having a teenage boy in the house fear are definitely like I don't know if I want to ask what was that or what did I hear you say because I don't know if I really want the answers so <laughs> you would need a lot of context <laughs> of like years of years of context yeah within, within the teenage boy's mind yes yes yeah. I agree so um and then um you know Will asks me very random, like, where where did that just come from out of his mouth? And I'm like, what? what? And he throws me off and he's like, are you listening? I'm like, no, I'm totally paying attention to that. Just where did that just come from? A lot of AI, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of space. And uh, if you were able to go to Mars or so, and I'm, it's just a typical day and then he'll just throw something way out there. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so that happens a lot in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Today, he told me to write, he said his phone died when we were in the line for vaccination, and he said, oh, my phone's dead. Can you go in your notes and write stomach acid? I was like, what? (laughs) So, he did that. That's just a typical thing. He's like, could you go in your notes and write stomach acid and remind me of it later? And I was like, yeah. And guess what? I didn't ask him any questions. I was just like, sure. I would be confused. Why? 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 I never found out. Okay, well... I'll tell I'll tell you about why I asked her. Well, I learned the other day that um, stomach acid has a pH of two. So I was thinking about how al- alkaline water is like a pH of eight. So then I was thinking, well, if it's a pH of two, then it would make the alkaline water like not matter because it's in the stomach acid. So I wanted to think more about that later. And then I was also thinking about, could I extract my own stomach acid and throw it at people to, you know. Burn them? Yeah. Yeah. These are the things, guys. This is why I didn't say why. And I just said, sure. And I wrote stomach (laughs) acid in my notes because that was the answer I would have got. So. I mean, the stomach acid, the stomach acid isn't dead acidic it doesn't like burn through your like like stomach because it, it stays there it, it's not that acidic right right but it's what do you pretty mean, like, it, it we, have, we have a stomach lining though which is what makes it different <laughs> right so i have a question because i was saying when i just said about the daughters and the versus sons yeah. so my question to you guys since i have heard your podcast before and i hear about how you guys think like the world's going or different artificial intelligence taking over or different things I've heard you guys say. So, Mm -hmm. so with that said, and with knowing how life has changed, even since you guys have been born and like kind of seeing what's happening in the future and what things may happen worse or better or whatever it is, do each one of you have a different view on bringing kids into the world? Like, do you think people should still be having kids or should you keep the population down and just kind of like live your life now? Without bringing, like, the old school thinking was, you know, you people just have kids. But I think more and more people are thinking, like, mm, do we want to bring more kids? Do we already have so many people on the earth? Do you stay where you kind of, your mindset's changing in this new generation? Where you're going to just live life for you and possibly meet? But 
but maybe not do the kid thing? Have you guys ever considered mm. whether or not you'd want to bring kids into this world? Well, I can it's say different. that um, I think it's less about... I think things are only going to keep going up in, you know, like standard of living um, with, you know, living. And I think it's probably not at the best that it could be right now, but I think that, you know, we shouldn't try and not have kids but I think it is just a choice, and I think my choice would be that I would not like to have kids, because I feel like I am just not the type of person that would be able to handle children. I guess that I could handle children, but it just seems like I am I want to make my right. life the fullest that it can be and do the most that I can do, and I think that this almost seems like selfish or weird in a way that I think that having kids might hold me back from something that I want to do in my life in the future. Yeah. Interesting. What well, about you guys? I know I, I know maybe, that the population of the entire world is like a uh, level of like 11 billion or something, so I don't think it really matters if you make kids or not. Like, like, what, like what she said, it's just, it's just a choice. But when I have a kid, I think I think it'd be great to teach I'd like teach like children like it's like it's like that sense of wonder in their eyes and like you teach them like a new thing like haha look at that and you're like their whole worldview just changes because of something like something itty bitty you did right and it and it's like that type of like curiosity is similar to what curiosity I have in life mm. and I want, I want I want to give that to other people a lot so I, th I, th I think I would. I think I would see myself having to get honestly. Neat. What about you? What about Brian? you? Um, my beliefs kind of affect how I kind of view this whole sort of thing. I, with the current in the current state of the world, like it, like global warming, <laughs> and like the in increasing like wealth inequality. And at in this current state, if it stays like this, and I am of the age, then I, I will not have a kid. I I do not want to subject a child to live through whatever horrible sh shit that will happen because of global warming. Right. And, That's and, and I, I I'm afraid of living through what's going to happen through global global warming. Like the, it's it's going to be the largest shifting of power in the entire world. Right. That's why I was wondering if this now, your guys' generation, I, I wondered how different, because in my time, when I was appropriate age of having kids, it wasn't thought of yet. It was just starting to be talked about, which would have never affected us in whether we wanted to bring another person in the world. But now I'm like thinking, man, if I were just at the age of just starting out having kids, I don't think I would end up being someone who chose to get to have a child because... It's, you know, a child can live all the way to, what, 80 plus years if they lived a good full life. And what's going to happen from this point in 80 years plus, right? And so I always wonder, I always think about that, like, with your, with with you guys right about to be in a few years, you know, five, ten years of going to be having that thought or of having one. Like, would you really go through with that if things were the same as they are right now? and going in that direction. So it's interesting. So two out of three of you said no. Interesting. I would believe, I would believe, honestly. I feel like our generation right now will have enough power within at least 20 years to overturn the... Boomers. Boomers, yes, exactly. I, Boomers. I, I, I would hope. I think it, when, when shit really starts to hit the fan, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna shift, and I think it's gonna shift violently. Because it's, it's going to turn out that all of these conservative pundits online have been saying Lord Rings not an issue, then Florida is gone, and then people, people are like, what the fuck? And then they, 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 they look, they look at people to blame, and, 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 now, and now there's a violent change of power because the young people who have been being, know they've been lied to are now experiencing these issues. Yes. You know what, Greg? I was thinking about if, 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 if the world was, was better, I would have a child. I, and for the same reasons as, as Aaron. But right. I, I simply just do not want to subject anyone to what will happen, or what I believe will happen in the future. I, I think that the scariest thing about this entire conversation is that 
the one that knows the most about this is probably Grug, because Grug researches all this politics stuff, and he's the one that's going against it the most, so that's probably not a good <laughs> good whim for humanity. <laughs> well, yeah, Look, because, but there's plenty of... I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm right a now. pessimist, so <laughs> don't... Max, last night at 3 a.m., or was it 2 a.m., I was, I was on, like, Reddit, and I was looking through all the news and, like, Reddit. how, like, Israel bombed, like, a... Like a, a news news oh, building, yeah. And I was like, "Huh, that's kind of interesting." And then I kept going down like news stuff and all that stuff, and I realized that honestly, it it seems hopeless. But in my opinion, I feel like we could honestly just change. Yeah, you know, yeah. Change. I mean, I, I I used to be like just kind of like completely just absorbing the news cycle, and I was much more depressed. I don't do that anymore. Um. I, I, all I is, all I do is hear about and then research issues, and I, I still feel like it's, it's pretty fucked, honestly. Like, most of the things in the world are fucked. Like, Israel and Palestine, it's one of the most, like, fucked things that's happening right now. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge issue. Yeah. It's a huge issue, and I'm not gonna talk a lot about it, I'm just, just gonna say it's fucked, because I don't know what's gonna happen if I say anything about it. Okay. It's, it's, it's super it's, it's issue. super sad. Super sad and it's super unfair. I'll I'll say those two things. Uh, on, and... Yeah. On all this terrible and unfair world that we're talking about right now, I want to know what it's like for my mom to be in a male-dominated podcast, and I want to know how it makes you feel <laughs> being a female. It's true. So, okay, so in this podcast, I, I've been very excited because to be to have be the only girl and then i figured you guys would have a lot of questions <laughs> for me and me mom and on a boy mom and things like that so that's just excitement i was excited about that um as far as being a female today is that what your question was cheesy well mainly more like you're in a male dominated podcast so it's kind of probably difficult for you know no it's not difficult i like <laughs> it i like it i like the different okay, view good. yeah <laughs> So ask away. Okay, that that's that was just a, a <laughs> dumb little joke. Anyway, I do have an actual question for you. Um, how do boys impress the ladies? <laughs> <laughs> I already oh. knew exactly where you're going, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> boys impress I'm the ladies. Lab. Yeah. So uh, should I go to my age now or to when I was your guy's age? Yeah, it's two different, totally different things, which is crazy, but. It is. Um, what do you guys want to talk about? People um, I, I think it would be cooler if you talked about how it was back then. Okay, so, when I was, uh, between, okay, so, 15 is probably my first, like, real boyfriend. So, and then, and then, um, and then my more serious was probably around, like, 18, um, 18, 19. So, so the younger part of the teen, like, younger part, 15, 16, was, I think, like, the things that honestly make a girl look or be interested was, for me, was <clears throat> so bad. It was like, oh, they're cool, or oh, they make me laugh, or just gave me a, a lot of attention, right? So... I think the one that would beat out the rest of the group would be definitely, I think you, you three, for whenever I hear you guys talk, I think you're super funny. I was really surprised the first podcast that I heard. I was like, you guys are really funny, right? And I wasn't Aww. expecting that. I was like, what are you in the room doing? Like, you're, like, what are you doing? What could you possibly doing for, for an hour on there keeping anyone's interest? But I actually listened to the whole thing and I, I told Will, Wow, I was super impressed and f funny. So if I went back to that age, that would have definitely been a turn on for me. Like, oh, I want them to ask me to be a guest. <laughs> I want to be a guest on that. You know what I mean? Well, here you so, are, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I, I, think, I think that I think just that you guys are doing something instead of just being like, uh, like the thing that didn't turn me on was when I just see like if I went to like a little like after school get together or something like that, someone that would just be sitting there acting cool, but thinking they were cool but they really weren't because they weren't talking or doing anything i didn't like that personally i liked if somebody was like not afraid to talk to me because mm -hmm. a lot of times at that age it's difficult i think a lot of the guys wouldn't come up and talk because of whatever fears they were having as a you know 
boy, right? Yeah. That's just starting out with all these feelings. But I, it mm -hmm. definitely is worth your while to break out of that shell if you are feeling that. Um, and just go talk to whoever it is, whoever it is that you're interested in, right? Whatever person, whatever you're interested in, just go sh let that person know you're interested. That's a t mm -hmm. total turn on at that age. Then, like, later on when it was more serious and I had already, like, kissed a boy and had you a little bit someone? of... You kissed someone? <laughs> I'm a... yes. I I can't God. believe it. Wow. At the roller rink, if that ages me. Ugh. At the roller rink. Woo! Dude, kinky, <laughs> oh, man. Really? Ooh wee. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't so, believe it. <laughs> Dirty then dog. Once <laughs> then once that happened, then once that happened, it started getting more into like where what was important on top of the funniness and the like coming out of your shell and coming over and talking a lot came in like hygiene, hygiene. Uh, I was like big shots. on like, okay, like <laughs> do they smell good? Do they, you know, like care about that they don't have a stain of ketchup from their lunch earlier on their shirt. That started, like, being there when I was, like, 18. Oh, boy. Where it didn't bother me earlier on. I was just, like, it was, like, whatever. But that started being a part of where that would make or break me having a crush on someone. It was definitely all the first things I had said, the funny and the talkative. And, like, I liked being kind of told, like, oh, look cute and that. Are you like that? That I liked having that attention. And about 18, I started thinking, I want that, and I want them to, like, brush their, their teeth. shirt up, or, like, brush, brush their, their teeth. teeth, or, yeah. Yeah. You know what? So, brush I, their hair! I have a hygiene, yeah. I have a hygiene question for you guys, actually. This this reminds <laughs> me, okay? When was the last time you washed your hands? <laughs> I never wash my hands, okay? He always, if you, he, he's obsessively no, washing No, shut hands. Don't tell them. If you he wash your hands, at every hand sanitizer station when we're out in the public, I'm like, boy, I didn't even see that one there. Like he just finds them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, okay, that if you wash your hands after you go pee, you're a bit of a nerd. That's all. I'm, no, I'm just kidding. I I do, but I like to say that I don't. Okay, that's just true. Anyway, the true question that I have is: first of all, the first question I have is. Is it acceptable to pee outside if you have a toilet? I've done it multiple times, so I think I'm, I'm the expert around here. Well, the so have I. That is, it keeps wild animals around, like coyotes don't come in the yard and stuff if you do that. But as far as like, I don't, I have boys and they can't, I'm like, we have toilets. Like, get in the bathroom. I don't know, it's just something I think. Water, I never water thought is expensive. of doing that. Reserve water. <laughs> Like, you don't I, want to flush that much <laughs> water, that much gallons into the sewer. I, I think that's yeah. such a boy thing. It's such a boy thing, regardless of what the <laughs> age. It doesn't matter what age. They're just like, I'm just going to go pee. Well, hey, guess what? We don't live on the prairie. Go inside. But I just think that's <laughs> always just been a thing. But like I said, there is a pro to it, which is we have a little small doggy, and it keeps coyotes and stuff away because it's like um, they already smell that somebody has that territory. Coyotes come over to your freaking house yeah <laughs> what really yeah where the hell are yeah. you oh you live in okay that makes sense don't we say it out loud don't say it out loud let me tell you yeah, Col colorado, colorado honestly has a lot of coy coyotes Every yeah day we have like, a raccoon a possum russia gets a lot of coyotes <laughs> <laughs> no they don't know now the viewers don't know where they live <laughs> that's funny yeah russia colorado <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, I was like, wow, it's Russian coyotes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we have a lot of all sorts uh, of stuff. My dad kidnapped a possum one time, but that's a story for another time. Um, <laughs> kidnapped a possum. Yeah, he kept it as a pet in the cage in the garage. He did keep it as a pet, and it was a gross little thing. It was not in the garage at all the whole time. It was in our home in a cage, and I was like, it's they're nocturnal, and we wake up to the craziest messes, and I was like, that's get rid of that thing but the mama died so he felt like he was a possum dada <laughs> so okay well this this leads to my next question okay so we talked about pee but now is it acceptable to poop outside if you no have a never no -uh, no <laughs> never never no no no, no. No, no, no. What if you're in the forest? No, 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 no. I'm talking about at your house if you have a toilet. No. No, no, no. no okay. What well, have you done that? 
No, no, I haven't. But Humdog, I find it really strange that you were so gung-ho about peeing outside, but now you're against your pooing brethren. What's up with that? Um, there reminds me of a story of my friend that lives in Colorado. <laughs> yes, Colorado. We'll climb up, we'll climb up mountains and <laughs> see, see like poop on the ground because no. because the it's so high up, the elevation's really high that no bacteria wanna like wants to live up there. Like, uh like eat it so it just stays up there for the rest of the time oh isn't that like the mount that. everest isn't it like five percent of mount everest just like a bunch of poo or something yes yes <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah so like you have to like pick up your own poo like a dog oh no, and like put it no. in a bag nope count me out yummy huh. mm -mm -mm. snack for just later never, <laughs> just never poop outside honestly. don't poop outside just poop in your pants and keep it there and every once in a while, I'll go for a little nibble. Just get a yes. little scoop back. Oh, yeah. At the beginning of the podcast, why? Actually, you, you don't even need in a nibble. You just, just stick your hands down there, like, like you know, just like, like you know. No! Pull, pull back out, and then, like, suck your fingers. Yeah. Oh, whoa, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is okay. this going? Okay, okay. Let's take wind it, it back. Let's wind it back. Grody. Or, I mean, if you, if you don't have any, like, doggy, whatever those things are called, you could just pick up your hands and then bring it down the mountain. Now or just like chuck it, just just like chuck it off the mountain, so like it it goes far enough. Now now I'm starting to think, what was the world's fastest poop, fattest poop, and the hardest poop? You will never know, and we're not going to talk about that I, anymore. I Next don't question. want to talk about that because I saw an image once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of like this, of this like lady of a like is it is that a hospital? And you know how like if you stay in your bed for quite a while, you have to like go to potty sometimes. Yeah. And there's just this huge brick. And I was like, oh my god, how long was it in there for? What? My little brother forgets to flush his toilet sometimes. It's pretty gross. <laughs> sometimes when when when, when I, I look in the toilet and I, I see just the worst. Have you guys ever I'm seen not, a I'm not even gonna describe it. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna describe <laughs> what I see when I look in the toilet sometimes. Hey, yeah. Do you guys have you, you need guys... your vitamins, dude? Can I tell you guys about my poo lately, okay? No, it's, it's, I'm not talking about my poo, it's not mine. Oh. Okay, well, I want to talk about my poo now. Um... Family need to eat their vitamins. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been, it's, like, that, whatever whose poop that was been, it's been in there for, like, a good, like, whole three hours, and it's just the worst. Okay, well, I'll tell you about my poo, okay? So, lately I've been eating a lot of almonds, like, a heck ton, right? So, well, this is true. Yes, it uh, is true. I have like a ton of it, and I'm they're pretty they're high in fiber, right, mom? They are, and I buy him packs of raw almonds. He just eats them in the room like constantly. He doesn't even keep them in the kitchen. He keeps his big barrels of almonds in the room so you can just snack and be on the computer. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. like five guys with like peanuts. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> but with almonds. <laughs> so anyway, I I eat a lot of almonds. And I specifically like stale almonds more than almonds. normal almonds. I um, say, almonds. yeah, he calls you... them almonds, which is funny. Almonds. Okay, whatever. Almonds. It, it's almonds. Anyway, so it's almonds. It's almonds. he talks as if the L is silent, which I don't correct almonds. him because I think it's quite funny. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> let let me explain, okay? So because they're high in fiber and everything, and I chew them up, so sort of like corn when you poop. It, it just comes out and you see all the crunched up almonds in the poo and it makes it like super soft and the th thing that's specific about it is that like it sort of stores up a bunch of poo and then like you feel completely fine and then you just have to immediately go poo like immediately so you just run to the bathroom and then like a huge amount of poo just comes out and you can just see it's all almonds just ch crunched up almonds in there and it's soft. You know what, Cheese? How about you just eat a whole almond, like, next time? Like, a bunch of whole almonds. See if, see if, like... <laughs> see if it... See if it's there the next day. Yeah, oh, like, swallow oh, them my. whole is what you're oh, saying? Yeah. <laughs> I could... That probably would work. I'll try that. Um, I'll... You're, I'll... Sure, you're like, choke. You're, you're seriously choke. Um, wait. You know what I'm thinking now is, have you guys ever sent a of your poo to anyone else no what the fuck <laughs> just like you 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 get a really good poo and you just want to send it to someone my doctor <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that 
had a picture come to me of cheese Why? from my cheese, oldest brother. Have you done this? Boy. Wait, 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 not mom, cheese. say that? Say that? Not cheese, but my your older brother sent me one when he was like your guys' age. <laughs> and he was like, mom, you're not home. I would have you come in and see us, but how crazy is this? And I was like, how about a warning text? <laughs> like, the next picture you open might be graphic. You can choose or not to choose to open it. <laughs> not just send it like that, where I was just like, oh in public with my friends or wherever I was. I was like, what <laughs> in the world? Yeah, Tommy did that to me, so I'm what a glad you have son. not done that. And don't do that, please, Will. But yes, your older brother did that because he was just so, he's like, I can't leave it there because I gotta flush it, but I can't let you not see what came out of me. <laughs> Wait, how old is Tommy? Tommy now is 24. Oh my god, how, but, how did it feel when you when you first had your son? Uh, you know, like, okay. I, <laughs> How did it feel like right when? <laughs> like, like no, 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 like how to like how how hard was it raising the, like your first son? Um, I was twenty when I had him. I was mm -hmm. nineteen, pregnant, nineteen, had him twenty, and um, for me, thankfully, he was such a good baby and like didn't have some. A lot of young moms have little issues, or maybe they, I don't know, they don't sleep well. Tommy, thankfully did everything great so I really didn't have the struggles everyone like my parents were telling me like you have ruined your life you're not going to be able to do anything and, blah, blah, blah. and he was just so good that they kind of ate their words and I was like this wasn't the problem at all you know what I mean and then you're like it time was... for the second one <laughs> but then Will <laughs> was like thank god I didn't have him when I was 20 because he cried and he was like didn't sleep well at night and I was like oh my goodness this is what they're talking about you know but thankfully, that just doesn't happen when I had Tommy. So it really wasn't, I never really had those struggles that you hear of, like, a teen mom, per se. You know, even though I was just turned 20, but still, was, the pregnancy was 19. That was embarrassing because no one else was pregnant. So that was, the pregnancy was pretty much embarrassing because none of my friends, they were like, oh, and I'm sure they whispered, like, tramp or something. But I don't know. But it was kind of embarrassing, right? But then sooner, like, I was 20, thankfully not a teenager. Still, like, I didn't have teen in my title. So that was good when he was out. But I liked it. I actually enjoyed being a mommy. So I think for me it worked out. And then um, I got married when he was, like, a young boy to Will's dad. And he adopted him. And so it just kind of all fell together really well, thankfully. Mm -hmm. I was not the typical young mom story so huh. mine mine's pretty pretty, pretty boring because it was because there was experience. nothing bad to say it was, yeah it was a pretty good experience even though wow i wouldn't advise it still just because i think everyone should kind of live more in their 20s and mm. not have that in the back of their mind like oh i have to you know be you, you should want to be able to be irresponsible in your 20s a little bit you know and if you have a kid yeah. you kind of have to like be like yeah boo yeah. i can't do that so. Yeah, you know what that means, cheese and grug. What? What? Bad decisions for our twenties to thirties. <laughs> we're still yeah. doing. Yeah. We're still in the commune, right? Getting drunk every night. I don't well, know. I don't yeah. know about the commune. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, this I... just made a, a thought pop up in in my head. I've already brought this up to my mom. Um, but what if every time I wash my hands after I use the bathroom, I sprinkle a little bit of it on the toilet seat? Yeah, no thanks. I live here, and I will not be happy with that. If you did that as a commune, I'd be. If you did that, if, if you did that in the commune, you, we would actually all murder you. Wait, what? Also, the... wait, no. I, I actually, we actually, have a house. Whoa! It's really nice. Whoa! 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 You're you're doxing yeah, us. Perfect. You're doxing it's, us. It's a state. And I, I have a house. That I'm gonna have to blur you. that. I'm gonna have to blur that. <laughs> you freaking. You're gonna... What bring, state? Bring, it, bring up a map of the Stop United States and fucking blur Stop, do it. Stop saying it! Stop saying it! Blur do it! Fucking blur I keep bleeping this. Stop. <laughs> so much effort. It's a state! Stop! I don't want it to be leaked. I don't want us to be doxxed. How are they going to find out where we live if I just say this? Oh my god. Beep that, huh? Wow. <laughs> yeah.
I dare you. Now, now, now you actually put effort in this video by beeping all of this. <laughs> I have to actually yeah. listen to it. Oh, jeez. Now you like actually edit this entire podcast. I was <laughs> thinking maybe a, a no edit podcast, just straight up, just throw it in the in the YouTube. But no, now I have to put it in freaking Davinci. <laughs> Davinci. <laughs> Davinci. Goddamn. So who here? Uh, is has the pandemic put you guys in a slump of not being able to go get a romantic interest somewhere? All of us. All, all three of, of you. It's affected Except negatively. Me, probably, yes. probably, yeah. It's affected us all negatively. Yeah. So, so, ha really? So, even though you guys are always doing stuff on your computer and you guys all have discords and this generation let's face it tons of girls on discord too and tons of young folk on discord too right so but some people that, date online a, i i personally don't like it yeah can, that, can discord be a dating platform yeah yes mm -hmm. yeah you, you could definitely meet people on discord yeah but most of the people that i've met on discord have all been guys yeah yeah um. and and but it has, like, a, have, has okay. Have any one of you three tried to meet someone romantically? Yes. During the pandemic. Yes. During the pandemic. Let me. Okay, I'll explain my story, and then uh, it's just I've tried, <laughs> but it's so I don't know. It's just so difficult, and it, it, it's just so much easier just to do it in real life, you know, just seeing them every yeah. day, doing things with them every day. It's just like it's. It's hard to set a time to do something, and not only that, a lot of the gamer are not, sorry, a lot of the girls that I meet online aren't really gamers, and that's kind of, like, the only thing in my mind that I can really think of that could be, like, date material, and, you know, that's stuff that I really enjoy, but they might not enjoy that, and then if they don't enjoy that, then it's sort of, like, you know, where are we supposed to go from there, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't really work. So all three of you feel the same way, nothing... Nothing has been able to create through the pandemic. And do you blame it on the pandemic or or Oh yeah, pandemic. Totally. Eh, I sort of blame it on the pandemic, but I don't think I'd have a girlfriend uh, either way. Yeah. This you is true. You really have to put on the effort to look. Yeah. Uh, you have to go to different Discord servers, you're gonna like uh So are you sucks. guys are you guys looking forward to the pandemic if things going back to normal? And yes. what's what each one of you, what's the first, the top of your list that you're looking forward to for things to go back to normal? I'll start with, let me go with Aaron. What's the top of your list thing that you're looking forward to doing when things go back to normal? Would it be, what what's at the top of your list that you haven't been able to do? music with my friends. Like create music? Like playing yes. instruments? Yes. Awesome. This That's what I've been, what this what I've been doing this entire like pandemic, just playing music. But you and I really that... want to meet people to like, to, like play with. But uh, I can't really do that. Gotcha. Like, so like do you have it? Do you have it lined ever. up? Do you have Do you have people in mind that you're gonna do that with right away? Yes, I do. Awesome. In fact, okay. I think I'm well, gonna get a drum. Yeah. Drums oh, for Grug. Drums for Grug. Grug I don't sick. like instruments. I tell Aaron this. He doesn't. He doesn't listen. Here's the thing, Max. I went to the guitar center. I went to guitar center like two days ago. Okay, and I went to the drum section area. And they have like electric electric drums and like all these parts that would that come up with the drums and shit like that. So I went on the acoustic drums, and I started playing. It was like you know I I hear I hear the drums all the time in my music how hard could it be to play drums and <laughs> as soon as i picked up as soon as i pick up that stick it just i'm awful it feels like i'm learning music again all over again it's an entire it's an entirely new instrument i've never had that, do that doesn't rely on music theory and it all relies on a beat that i sometimes am good at I, I'm sorry. Drums is gonna be really fucking hard to play. I do not have rhythm. 
I, oh, I, for, I, I could, I cannot do it for the life of me. I, I what, were, so, what were you talking about again? Like, uh, what was the question originally? Oh no, it was what would you do after? What would you do when the pandemic I ended? I so, I so want to see Grug just beat some drums, just bang, bang, bang on rock that make noise. I'm gonna do uh, like a lot of research on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I seriously want to do stuff with friends. Like, I mean, I don't really know exactly when I think about yeah, it. I just want to do. I just want to do wanna stuff. Be. Yeah, you just want to be, hang out, be silly, whatever it is. You just want to be doing it in person. Can we finally do laser tag? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do paintball instead. That's no. funnier. No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I've done paintball. <laughs> no. I'm. It's yeah. Get in my hair. It's gonna get on my hair. Uh, Where the hell no. goddamn? Does Dude. Greg? Does Greg have great hair? No, Humdog no. has hair. Hum oh, Humdog has... is saying he's gonna get in his yeah. hair? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's funny. Do you have okay. great hair? Uh, like, great as in what? Like, like full body, of, you don't want paint look getting at, in it. Look in the Discord chat. Yeah, oh. yeah scroll up. Do you, do you see that guy? Wait a minute. Handsome. Um, let me see. <laughs> wow! Yeah, you can't paintball. <laughs> <laughs> wear a helmet, dude. I hate I hate wearing helmets. That's why I don't wear headphones at all because it messes up my hair. All right, goddamn helmet. That? You 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 will you will, you will you will you will die in a war because of your <laughs> hair. It, it's so funny. Hamdog is sort of like Josuke. It, I he's the JoJo character. He he is. I, I don't. Who's Josuke? Who's a JoJo? He's the JoJo character that gets mad when you make fun of his hair. <laughs> Have you seen JoJo? Yeah, I've seen JoJo. <laughs> Have you not seen JoJo? I've seen one through eight. One through eight? Yes. So have I. Seriously? Holy shit! We got. Then, okay, then why do you, okay. you ask me who Josuke is? <laughs> <laughs> <What'd> you... <laughs> okay. We, we gotta talk about this later, okay? Okay, alright. It's an entirely different topic. <laughs> uh, not different topic. I wonder, what what else did I write in here? I had a panic attack in my in my freaking podcast journal. <laughs> I just wrote it all down. Here. Let me see. Yeah. I don't, do you want to show that on screen? No, never. Here, what is this? It just scribbles. Oh, it's terrible. I just, there's terrible stuff that I've run here. Um, huh. He, what? Said he, started, he put his hand on the journal and started, like, drawing, like, <laughs> making turkeys. Hand turkeys. Okay. <laughs> go. That insane. I, okay, I just wrote, go on a spiel about how annoying it is to measure penis size. Oh, that is not under your Joe Mama's podcast, <laughs> is it? <laughs> It's oh, don't, don't, tell her, don't tell her about the penis principle. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the penis principle with my mom? No. It's, yes. It's an, it's an interesting principle that I come up with that I completely forgot about with, like, and then Grug brought up with, like, months later. Yeah, Humdog, and you, you made it. And then I got, like, six people to do it. Yeah, Humdog, you made the penis principle, so you go ahead and explain it. I also, made I, 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 barely, I, 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 I still win. I won. <laughs> I barely know about it. Okay, so the, the basis of penis principle, which I somehow came up out of a whim when I was, like, sleep-deprived, I think, <laughs> is that if, if everybody showed their penis to each other, then they have nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> and they will be truthful with each other, no matter what. Because you have that thing hanging out, and you mean like if you guys, just, if everyone else all of a sudden was not just showed it to him, but just all of a sudden just clothes were not a priority. I, 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 I guess kinda... you you can interpret it like that. There's many interpretations. I guess <laughs> yes, many interpretations to this very specific topic. You can you can um, do connections with people. <laughs> my my imp interpretation was that we just tell each other our penis sizes. Truthfully. How do you know you're being well, oh, okay, that's what I was gonna say. How do you know you're being truthful? You have to be truthful. That's that's the whole point of the principle. Yeah, and and I no, no, people people were truth, truthful. People were truthful. Like 
It does. It's like not like the stuff that, that they said was not something that you lied about. That that you would lie because yeah. you wouldn't. Which you wouldn't, size do you, you have to tell? It. Do you have to tell the natural size or the one that happens when you while you while know? erect? While erect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. While gotcha. tall. While big. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> so, I'll tell you about my story. No. What? Why not? No. Why? What's what story? Oh. A penis story? Yeah. I am your mother. <laughs> yes, you, sorry. Can you not let me say it? Do you not want to hear it? I mean, I don't, if, again, these are the things that happens where I have those panic disorders where I'm like, I don't know what's about to come out of here. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll just go ahead and say it, okay? So Didn't she change his diapers once? Yeah. Yes! You, I, mean, I, I don't know if, if the story's going to be about a toddler time. You've seen my Chewbacca <laughs> balls. It's okay. I have never. I don't know why you say that. <laughs> You've de- you definitely have. I definitely have not. You you definitely have seen my not, Chewbacca balls. Not post pubescent. No, I have not. No, you have. You saw them with hair. You know that you did. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> and if you swear that I have, then I obviously have erased that from my memory and let it be. <laughs> the point is, let me just tell my story. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> let me tell you. Me and Grug and John, we were all in the general VC of the gangsters, okay? And okay. we Okay, get it, get it. And we were talking about the penis principle, and then everyone was talking about how they had shared it, and I was just hearing of the penis pr- uh, penis principle for the first time. So I was like, ooh, I wanna do that. And so I was figuring it out and I was having difficulty. You were figuring it out meaning measuring? Yeah, I was having difficulty, so I was asking Grug for help. Again, Grug, why do you want to explain? Noise before going into his room. Grug um, for help? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. I so I we one it was me and John. We were giving him like objects that he could compare it to because he didn't have a ruler. <laughs> yeah. Which is I, why I think he came <laughs> down to you and asked it, you for a ruler. Yeah. I think that's one of the things he did. No, did I it? I was debating whether or not to do it, and I didn't, is what happened. Can you give him a ruler? No. So he can finally... Yeah, can you give me a ruler, Mom? Right now? Sure. <laughs> no. Do it, do it on, on podcast. <laughs> no. That was so this funny. This is exactly why I said to you guys that I make noise before coming in and entering his room. <laughs> it was funny, because <laughs> John was walking me through it, and he was like, the average size of a paper is about 11 inches so just whoa, measure whoa, whoa. oh oh of a yeah. paper yeah. i was like whoa so so he was just <laughs> like all right so measure your pp compared to that and i was like okay i'll try i was like well it looks sort of about half but i'm not entirely sure and he's like well you know what you can do is print out a ruler on the paper and we're having this whole big old deal and i was like if it's 11 inches a 12 foot ruler isn't going to fit on the paper and it was just a whole big deal and i just want to know why is it so difficult to have to measure your PP size. Why why is it not written on our ID or registration so that people can just know? <laughs> no. The average would... size. You invented the penis with the Wait, 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 my wait, mom. More. What is the average size? Five and a half to six and a half is the average across the world. You know so there after, is after, obviously... after we all said our sizes, I realized how average we all we all were and I felt <laughs> a little bit better. Oh, I mean, typically, I, I don't know about you guys. The world, the percentage up, of the man? world but... is, a, is an average, right? That's how an average yeah. is made. Uh-huh. So really, the majority of everyone really is very similar. So it's uh, the when guys get so like, oh my god, or get intimidated or whatever, chances are, you may run into like through college or through the gym or through sports, and when you guys are showering or whatever, come across them where we're like, whoa, that whoa was that. Did I see that right? <laughs> but that's not gonna. It could possibly never happen, or it might happen like once because but the average really. What if you a have a micro average. penis? One out of a million. Yeah, right, but, but right, okay. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna make everyone feel bad that you, you, you know those like averages that you that like it, it says like by state. Yeah. It's yeah. bullshit. It's bullshit. No. It's, 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 and no one, no, pe- no penises were measured. It's all. Hey, how big is your penis? Like, oh, yeah, my penis is 12 inches, man. Yeah, no. <laughs> and, 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 and then, and then, that's why California has, like, an average size of, like, six. <laughs> my brother used to say this joke to girls. He would be like, because I also, I, I have all sons and I have all brothers. So I've just been, you know, when you say, how does it feel to be in a male-dominated podcast? Hello, I'm always around just guys. <laughs> but well, I had older brothers only, no sisters. And my one brother always used to tell jokes to the girls and be like, 
yeah, my penis, my penis is, uh, what do you say? They'd be like, oh, so big. He's like, yeah. And they're like, how big? Two inches. And they're like, well, that's not big. He goes, from the ground. From <laughs> the <laughs> 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 That's actually a good one. I never heard that one. Before. That's a good one. <laughs> I never heard of that one. He'd be like, and they're like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, from the ground. And I was like, really? This is making girls laugh. I went Because they were my older brother. So I'd be like, this is what's making girls laugh. Oh, my goodness. But I used to always hear them, like, flirting and doing their thing and I'm like oh they're so silly but then of course I grew to that age and was like if somebody said a penis joke at a teenage year but yeah that was a funny one so there's one for you guys to use <laughs> great wow what a great joke <laughs> oh what what about what about the penis game what's the wait penis what's the game. penis game um the penis game is how loud you can say penis out loud like in a podcast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had that before? We, we, remember, Will, we would yeah. run to the store? We, we would run to the store, and, like, Christina and Tommy, are, they would just, like, go outside the, the store and, or wait, I don't even remember. Wait, what was it? Who, who did wait. it? Who did it? Uh, whoever we were with. We were yeah. Friends. We would just do it, and they'd be like, knock it off, and we'd be like, penis. <laughs> and we'd keep going louder and louder, penis, inside, like, Lowe's. Or penis! Whatever. Yes, so fun. Yes. It's, like, the best game ever made. Me and Max played that one, like, in, in like, uh, last year. E -E. P.E. So <laughs> That's something I would never be able to do with a teenage daughter, but because I have teenage sons, they're like, let's let's do the penis. We, we what do we call it? Uh, <laughs> let's do the low, penis. Low loud, low loud penis. That, yeah. The low loud penis. That's what it's called. Go, <laughs> low loud penis, and we'd go. Penis. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> um. Wait. This reminds me of. Uh, what about that Pocky game where you would, like, slowly bite closer until you kiss? Like, who who, who could hold the kiss longer before you pull I've out? I've never heard of that one. On a, like, um, you would I, get- I've never heard of that one before. You'd get two boys, I and, not then, heard of that one. and then to prove you're straight- or, no, to prove how straight to you are- To prove you're straight, Chase, have you been doing this one? Yeah, to prove how straight <laughs> you are- I've never done this one before. To prove how straight you are, you have to hold the kiss for as long as you can. I think- I think you've- I've never been... heard of that one, Cheesy. Have you Jeez, not? I think you've been lied to. <laughs> I think you've been lied I've to. I've never. Too. I want to know who no, made you kiss them. For I've that long. I've never I've never done it, but I saw kids doing it. Actually, you I'll just tell you... you just said you did it. No, no, I did I? Well, I was lying. Yeah, I did. No, I I didn't do it. Yeah. He's definitely done the low loud penis. Yeah, we've done that. That was fun. I have. I actually have kissed a boy before, not on purpose, but I was giving a a friend of mine a brother of mine i might say he was so close to me we were homies and i was giving him a hug goodbye and i told him goodbye and we hugged and our face got a little bit close and our lips touched and i i was so grossed out that i ran away and i didn't talk to him for like a week and then eventually i talked to him again and then he and then we talked and then we're like that was funny <laughs> <laughs> I kissed Max. Remember that, Max? Did you do that? Yes. Yeah, I could see that. I don't remember that. I, that was last year. I feel like that's something I should remember. Did you forget about that? Probably. You actually forgot about that. Holy shit! Well, now you just <laughs> reminded him. <laughs> huh? It, it was. It was a. What was it called? <sighs> the game you used to play all the time, Max. It was uh. Odds are, odds are. Odds are, oh god, odds are. I hated that so much. Odds are was a great game. <laughs> it was the worst. It was the funniest game. Dude, you should, oh, man. See, the pandemic ruined odds are too. That is, you know what, you know what odds are is, it's right? It's a good thing. No. What's, what's odds are? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. So, me and Max used to play this all the time with uh, another friend <laughs> named Eric. And Eric, we used to go, Eric Cartman. We used to go. Odds are, would you, um, I don't know, throw this orange at the wall, and and one of us would give a number, and and we would have to gamble that number, and if we got the same number at the same time, then the person would have to throw an orange at the wall. Uh -huh. mm. Odds so, are, Mac. I kiss Next. you. Okay, uh, 25. Uh, oh. two. 
And what? You know, and no, no, no. I mean, like, I, I pick a number, and then you... Uh, no, wait, I pick a number, and then we ha- and then you- wait, shit, ha- Max, help! What do we do again? It's- it- you- it's like, you- for the person who does it, I don't know, someone does it, but it's like a number out of something, like, one out of twenty, and then- and then someone counts down, and then you both say a, a number that- that you thought of, and if it's- if it's the same number, then you have to do the thing. Alright, so- Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I- Kiss hum dog, one out of ten. Grub no, countdown. No, okay. Okay, okay. okay. Three, two, one. Six. Three. Uh, uh-huh. man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Good job. See, that's how play odds are. That's yeah. So now, now she has to kiss Aaron. No. Yeah. Get close to the screen. No, 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 no. <laughs> Did he, did he leave he again? Left. He, he really didn't want to kiss you. He left again. I thought that he loved me. This sucks. You know what? This is the 106 podcast, honestly. It's no longer the 106, the 106 podcast. Welcome to the 106 podcast, everyone. It's, we have a guest today. You forgot the title. Wait, what is it? Come in the mind Come into the teenager's mind. mind. Come inside the minds of teenage boys. No, come inside the mind of a teen boy. Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> That's funny. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, I feel I feel I'm pretty pretty satisfied to wrap things up right now. I wait. Did do we have any more questions? I think we only asked like on. two questions. I'm still upset that you guys still wouldn't allow me to poop outside. No, you're allowed, but you'll be grounded. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll kill you. <laughs> I will just totally. I don't know what I would do. I would post it. <laughs> across all your social media and let everyone know. Alright, I have one last question since we have about four more minutes till the hour mark, so we'll just get there. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do schools teach you better than you can teach yourself on the internet? So, I think that with you, Will, which I noticed, is that you'll know what your lesson, right? So you have lessons that school teaches you. Yes. But then I think the homework part of it is, is like, I think homework should be only for the kids who really need to, again, go over that lesson with themselves at home. I don't think homework's for everyone. That's where I feel like it gets into your own creative space and your own creative time, because there's a lot of times where you know the lesson and I feel like you are good. You learned it with that part of class. So then you have to take your own time to go do the homework to maintain your grades, right? But yet, I do feel like that time could be used better for you because you have a lot of creative juices flowing where I feel like then school (laughs) Not just creative. (laughs) School becomes very monotonous and boring because why do something if you really understood it completely? You don't need that. So I do feel like things need to change with regular school as far as you know, every every kid is not, every student's not the same. Some don't need the extracurricular after, and they should be able to utilize that time with their own uh, likings, like things that yeah. you guys really enjoy. It's like, it's like a burden. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, like, you need, so I'm going to reveal my secret on podcast about how I know so much about podcasts and the son of podcast politics. It's quite simple, seriously, just like... You know, like, read articles occasionally, and watch, not even watch, just listen to videos on the same topic, like, different videos on the same topic while you're doing whatever you're doing, like, playing video games or whatever. Literally, that's, that is how I learn politics, and tons of other topics. And right. you, you can also learn it through, like, more physical experience. It's just, there's just some things that, that schools will not teach you. Yeah. And so you, you have to learn it on this, your own. This makes me think about something that I theorized a long time ago, okay? I theorized that, well, not really theorized, but I kind of just came to a conclusion that, like, bots, how bots, like, teach themselves. Like, um, I'll, I'll use the CPG Grey video if you guys have ever seen it, um, where, like, you can tell Bs from threes, where basically, like, you just keep testing bots 
over and over again until they understand something. And I feel like schools are kind of like that in a way where, you know, they just keep testing you and testing you and testing you until you finally just understand what's going on, you know? Because I feel like in my math class, um, or not even just my math class, but just like a lot of my classes, it's just they tell you what it is and then they just expect you to understand it and then they test you and test you until you get it. Like they they give you a super hard study guide mm -hmm. that's basically like a test so that you can go into the actual test and get it right, you know? If that makes yeah. any sense. It feels weird. It it just feels like there's so like there's just such a better way of going about it that it's just I do think school difficult should kind of evolve like the rest the rest of the world is i think school is very similar to even when i was going even when my mom and my dad went i don't think that's really evolved and i do think that we've learned enough now to know that each student and personality of students are different from one another it's not a class setting anymore i think it should be more individualized you know like a yeah like what was that uh, what was that one movie where they got to make their own classes in college like they got school of rock no it was some it was some dumb <laughs> dumb old movie where they were like me and my dad watched it because he really wanted to watch it and he was like um basically like they didn't get a scholarship to their college so they made their own college and then they basically just made all the students create their own creative classes yeah i think definitely needs to be a more individualized education educational program instead of just per class and per grade i, I don't know i feel yeah. a little bit more lucky to, than you guys honestly i i lucky? think I, right now because my my teachers right now are like very progressive and very lenient of how I'm, like people feel emotions oh. in, in, their, in like in the classroom so if like having a tough day they, they will understand that and you could just fully like like they'll they'll talk it out with you honestly. Like if you say, if, I don't know if, if you want to like pretend, you can't just do that. It, you honestly just, you just have to be honest. Honestly, you just have to be straight up honest with your teachers. And that they'll listen to you and yeah. be like, no, yeah. you have to do this. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, teachers teachers don't get paid a lot as well, and and um and our our um, our schooling system is quite outdated. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know, Max. My uh, my teacher, I'm not gonna say her name, but um, she's like a therapist, like the legit. She would talk with her students all the time, no matter what. Like, with well, her. yeah, 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 yeah but, but no, find the every teacher, the, but... the curriculum is outdated. The things that we're learning about are outdated, and who knows? And and, 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 and the teacher certainly does not get paid enough to be a fucking therapist to you. Yeah. But I do think it's awesome that that teacher is doing that because, again, that's yeah, true, that's right? amazing. It doesn't matter. They're like, it doesn't matter. I'm getting paid this. I actually am just a better person for wanting to do this for my students. So I think that's awesome, and I feel like that's how I would be if I was a teacher. I would be more. I mm -hmm. wouldn't. I wouldn't stay in the direct how how to be a teacher type. I would definitely be more into each student and what their needs were and being open to talking and and yeah. and like yeah. what Aaron's saying for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like your own personal teacher. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they, they will listen to you. And I think that's, that's what most awesome. students need, honestly. What, True. What an interesting Just end to the podcast. What a what a nice calm ending. So any 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 wrapping uh, closing statements? I should be able to be allowed to poop outside. Uh, anything else? Seems like an obsession you've been thinking about. <laughs> um, Aaron, Aaron just left. Um. <laughs> well, thank you guys for having me on. No problem. Thank you, Joe Mama. Yeah. You're welcome. Joe Mama. Thank you for being uh, on with us. Again. It was super interesting. I I love this podcast. All right, that was that was a great episode. Anyway, well now I'm ending it. I love you, Mom. I love you, Grug. Bum dog, I, I need that I kiss. You, I need that kiss still. Um, bye. See ya. Joe Mama out.